traveling mail.com. We just took another very exciting tuk-tuk ride up the road. We had no idea if that little engine was gonna be able to pull all four of us heavyweights. Um, but we made it, we're at Macaw Mountain. It's a bird reserve for macaws um, because they were close to endangered and we're saving them. It's a guy from Tennessee. We don't know that much, but we're gonna go in now. Started out after I got out of the military and went to Roatan. 1973 and helped them get the diving program started there oh. and I was gone for a while I got into commercial fishing came back here in 1986 and we had a commercial fishing export company that we called snapper and grouper and sent them fresh to the US burned out on that came to Copan like Copan I'd already sort of inherited a group of birds and uh, oh. so this was by accident Is this your pup? Uh, yeah, we've got, there's four or five of them running around here. There's X Street Dog System. Had her about six months, maybe. So. Oh, she's so sweet. So, normally you can walk into this aviary, but since they're raising babies right now, it is closed temporarily, which is understandable. Great for the birds. A little sad for the people, but I think we'll get over it soon. P.S. It sounds like they're trying to kill each other in there. <laughs> All of these birds um, are rescue birds because their owners couldn't or wouldn't keep them or they were in bad conditions or they were just so loud they drove their owners crazy. So they were born in captivity and they can't be released in the wild. They don't buy or hunt any birds here. They just come because of that. Because they were in a bad situation. <laughs> I would not want one of these as a pet. They're beautiful, but they are so loud. Also, I'm a good person who doesn't take my calls. When we walked in here, uh, we saw a bunch of cages and uh, we couldn't go into a couple of them that we thought we might be able to go into. But I've changed my mind. It is really cool to get to see a lot of these birds that would be wild around here, but we wouldn't see because we're not going to go spend days and days trekking through the forest looking for them. We just don't have the time as much as we would like that. Um, so it's really kind of cool to see these animals up close that are in this ecosystem. Um, yeah, that's about it. This one's a rock star. Yeah, it has a mohawk and it's headbanging. Where he puts his mohawk up. Put your mohawk up, birdie. Face the camera, right? Put a bit higher. A bit higher. This is heavy. We just had so much fun holding birds and they're birds that like it and they only let certain ones do it so it's okay. But it's really cool. So here's a picture.
This morning we decided to take it easy. It's a lot cooler and we did a little bit of work. Uh, posted to social media, Instagram, traveling to LMT, traveling filmmaker, and uh, a couple other things. Had a nice breakfast at the Casa de Cafe next door. And yesterday, Melinda bought us tickets for yeah, please. Uh, to the local hot springs from Via Via. Uh, they shuttle us up in the afternoon and then uh, they'll shuttle us back this evening. And so we're just going to do that today. We got a 6 a.m. shuttle tomorrow to Rio Dulce. I think I'm saying that right. So we're gonna grab some lunch and then head out to the Agua Calientes. All right, well, we uh, went, had lunch, met up at Via Via for our shuttle bus up to the Agua Chamales. And this is our ride. to Luna Jaguar after an awesome ride through the hillsides and the jungles, little uh, hillside plantations. I think we saw some coffee, plantains, uh, even almost got stuck, which was a little bit of excitement. And now we are here, it's right by a mountain river, and we're about to figure out what the story is. We're making the switch over to the little GoPro session, so hopefully the audio will be okay. Yeah, I Hmm? Listos, la señora? Espanol, mostly Espanol, and I didn't do too badly. I think I got most of the gist of it. And this place is awesome. It's in the middle of the jungle. Uh, there are all these structures and different pools and mud and hot and cold and um, all kinds of cool stuff. And you can even go down into the river, down in here, uh, and soak down there. Although, looks like that might be a freebie. Um, we're gonna go try this. It's 38 degrees Celsius, but we can go inside. So the boys and I are uh, kind of excited to see that. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm dreading the hotness. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gonna be so steamy inside and hot because it's gonna get hotter because the air is hot. Yeah. Well, it's got a chimney. Exactly. Should we do it? Yeah. We're gonna go right away.
forth ten times. I don't know if you're supposed to soak or what. But we're still a little muddy too. Hot water. fun they have all kinds of great variety of pools and that sort of thing you're in the middle of the jungle uh, and I think it's totally worth coming out here the ride by itself was awesome um, and right now we're trying out uh, the a stair step of pools getting progressively cooler uh, and they're numbered you can see the two dots and the two bars over there that's the Mayan system of numbering so that stands for 12 I guess each dot is one and each bar is five I could be wrong about that, um, going by what our guide told us yesterday at Quipan. Anyway, it's uh, totally worth coming out here. Apparently they even have Wi-Fi, but we locked our phones up in the locker. It's probably better that way. So that is 13 according to our calculations. And that's pool number 13. Is it cold, hot? Sort of your normal, normal pool you might find in town, but like maybe a little cooler. But I'm, I'm like really, really hot because I just was in the hotter pool, which like quite good. We were about to run out of memory on our car because I forgot to clear up when we started, but awesomeness here and uh, totally worth coming out to Luna Jaguar in Honduras outside of Copan Ruinas. Everybody give us a wave.